PC Wizkid here has partnered up with CyberPower PC to show you the Gamer Extreme 4500. This is a configuration of many that CyberPower PC puts together, part of the uh, Haswell um, fourth generation CPUs from Intel. Comes with the 4770K unlocked CPU. I really like this case though. It's nice and wide, lots of space to maneuver in there and add all your components. Has all the IO ports at the top, as you can see here, standard, straightforward. Uh, fan controller there on the right hand side to control the fan speeds, of course. And you can see that this does not have LEDs. You can get different configurations, of course, if you want it. But lots of cooling. You can add more fans at the top if you want. But this comes with the water cooler from Coolit. And um, a nice little window there to show off all your stuff. And it also uh, shows the GTX 770 that comes in there and glows green. Um, the Lepa G power supply has enough to expand the system even further if you wanted to add another GTX 770 down the road in SLI. You can see here the card. And uh, it's a great system with Windows 8 64-bit ready to go. They've added um, additional cooling, like I said, on that radiator. So, you know, we've got decent fan going on there as well. And the Asus motherboard is of high quality as well. So we're running here this machine above the default 3.5 gigahertz. It's running at 4.2 right out of the box from CyberPower PC with this configuration. There's obvious... Uh, improvements on this new chip. The level 1, level 2 cache bandwidth has essentially been doubled, so you get 64 bytes per cycle, per clock, and that's great. Now, compared to Ivy Bridge, I'm saying there's got to be some great enhancements when it comes to a lower-powered, high-performance system, which is what this chip is trying to deliver. So, quad-core, 8 threads, 3.5 gigahertz base clock, 3.9 with a turbo, but it comes from CyberPower at 4.2 gigahertz because they pre overclocked a little bit. I can overclock it even more, but it comes already at 4.2, stable, cool, and quiet. That's what you want. Great cable management, by the way. Look at this. Nicely tied in, clean system. Very nicely clean. And you can see the G skill memory there in red, right beside these tubes. Don't touch. Everything is very nicely laid out. And you can see all your components, show them off through the window. There's the G skill memory, like I said, CL11 timings. And uh, the GeForce GTX glows in the dark green, so you can see the card in action. Really nice looking card, by the way. I'm not sure if you can get a good look of it like this. So what I'm doing here is adding a picture so you can see what I'm talking about of uh, when it comes to this card. It's a beauty, okay? Straight from NVIDIA, beautiful card. And of course, the power supply can take another one should you decide to have it in SLI. Now, the ASUS Z87K motherboard is obviously a great board to have course if you're going to have a stable system and overclocking and have it last you want a decent brand asus does it and that's why cyberpower pc has added that in this machine and my gaming rigs i use asus as well built and of course with the new socket the 1150 socket so you can't necessarily uh you know use other CPUs in there, unfortunately, but that's the way Intel did it. The Enermax fan that they've added in there, like I said, additional cooling for that radiator, very nice. And um, what else can I tell you? Well, it has an SSD drive from Corsair, the Neutron there, 64 gig of SSD space. And of course, you've got a one terabyte drive for all your apps, games, everything you would install on there. Your Windows 8 is on the SSD, obviously. And if you wanted to add more hard drives later in RAID, go ahead, right? You've got space there to add more drives, slide them into place, like a toolless design there from this uh, fractal design case, very nice case, like I said. And, um, and then of course it has a Blu-ray player in there as well, the combo drive. What else can I show you on this case? Well, benchmarks. Click on part two coming right up now to see this gaming rig in action. Okay, so we're going to look at this more in detail, run some benchmarks, and then you can compare that with other systems that I've reviewed and, of course, online with other machines that uh, have been reviewed as well. Okay, so click here right now, part two, and uh, we'll continue with the review on benchmarks for the CyberPower PC. Thank you for watching.